to get started here in about 30 seconds. I just want to say thank you to everybody. Uh, we are recording this as we always uh, record them. And, and, and this is actually the last month we're going to be recording the webinars. I'll explain to you why. So without any further ado, let me just go ahead and knock this out real quick. The next and get ourselves going with this whole thing. So let's see, participant. There we go. Yeah. All righty. Well, thank you so much, everybody. Everybody is muted. If you want to unmute yourself, go ahead and do so if you need to do so. Um, I just want to you know, share with, me, with you my excitement for all the things that are going on. We're in some pretty tough times, but I'm glad to say that uh, so many of our people are doing not just good, but doing very, very well. And you know, I'm not going to sit here and name everybody because I think you've seen the what I call hero making machine highlighting so many people that are doing just that. So don't buy into this whole pandemic defeated mindset because there's a lot of great things going on. And you know, one of my favorite passions in life is empowering people, teaching people that maybe uh, about things they knew, they suspect that were out there, but never knew quite how to leverage it. And we've been doing that and we're gonna continue to do that to help everybody get from where they are to where they need to be. And so I just can't tell you how excited I am to see so many people leveraging what it is we do. Now, there are some things that we're not leveraging as well that are not worth the time and effort it takes to put together. So I will announce that here in just one second. But having said that, let's go ahead and get started with our first things first as more people uh, ring in with the, let me just make sure you can see that. Just see, please. Here we go. And so anyway, you should see it in front of you. We're gonna talk about module two, which is copywriting and execution. and our guide on how to market financial services. Now understand that, I, again, I wanna thank everybody that takes this information and implements it. We had one person uh, that I met with this week who was able to submit three pieces of business directly from the emails that this person sent out. Uh, the top one was for $1,800 a month, all of them teachers, all of them via email only is how the contact started. And it led to the Zoom meeting and from the Zoom meeting, three pieces of business in, one for like 600, one for 1100, and I believe one for 1800 is the highest one. In one week, it's not bad, 100% virtual via Zoom. So you cannot argue with this. So anyways, I just wanted to, you know, again, uh, emphasize the importance of paying attention to what it is I'm gonna to talk to you about here today as we get into module two and the copyright and execution phase, which is probably one of the most important ones. I just wanna thank Mr. Michael Hatter for taking the time to meet with Marcella and myself for lunch this past uh, Friday. As a matter of fact, we, it was yesterday. We were uh, having lunch just to simply catch up. We'll be hitting up a few of you as, uh, as the weeks come by uh, because we want to make sure that we're up to speed with everybody, that, especially the leadership element of the team. And then, of course, I encourage everybody to do the same thing with their teams as well. So thank you, Mr. Hatter, for your time, for your input, and, and for your friendship more than anything because, again, it was nothing formal. It was just simply... Uh, get together to just shoot the breeze, if you would, and thank you for that. I also want to thank Mr. Alan Guerra uh, from San Diego. A couple of weeks back, maybe two, a month and a half, maybe he invited me to attend a presentation with one of his clients. It was a big, big deal. So he asked me to be there to maybe catch anything that he missed, or, or just simply support him, if you would. And my answer was, of course. Yeah, this is a package that's over a million dollars in. Uh, dollar amount as far as the actual transactions. And so anyways, when we sat down with the client, one of the things I interjected with and, and mentioned to her was the fact that, you know, there's a lot more to us than just simply financial services. If she needs somebody to process a financial product or sell her one, just about anybody will do. But what sets us apart is that we lead by giving. I explained to her our nonprofit, which is of course your nonprofit organization. And for our kids, for our future, I explained to her also the things that we love to do. And so anyway, she went on to tell me, you know, her husband passed away nine months ago and she was telling me how she always wanted to start an orphanage in TJ or Tijuana, Mexico. And so she just really didn't know how this, and so anyways, my thing to her was, look, I, it's a very noble thought, but my recommendation is just get started. Just start somewhere with what you have as you are with as little as you think you might know. Just do something. Because she told me that it's been with her for, a good portion of her life. And I told her I wanted to kind of seed the dream, if you would. And so I told her, look, regardless of what happens with this financial transaction, whether you decide to go with Alan or not, um, I just want to, you know, commend you for trying to help out, especially kids. I again told her about a nonprofit. And so to make a long story longer, 
uh, the deal went through, you know, and, and thankfully it was a very good uh, deal for her primarily and also for Mr. Allen. And what I ended up doing is, as promised, I told her I was going to come back, that I was I wanted to donate stuff that she could in turn donate. I didn't want to commit going all the way to TJ because I couldn't. But uh, she said, you know, that would be great. And this past Thursday, Marcella and I drove down there with uh, not a truckload, but a carload of supplies. You know, we had literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of crayons. We had, you know, school supplies, pencils, I mean, you name it. And then just a ton of very, very good clothes. Most of them new. Some were, as they say, gently used, if you would. And um, we were able to take that down there along with, I couldn't even begin to tell you how many toys. And so anyways, I, we went down there and, you know, presented it to her. She actually has already three orphanages and she already spoke with that are going to be accepting the gift. And, you know, I made it very clear to her. It was not from us. It was from her. She says, wherever she goes to make sure she tells them that's her because it really is her that made it happen. And the moral of the story that I want to just emphasize to everybody here is that, in my opinion, you cannot really ever hit the level of success you are destined or what you want to uh, hit and success-wise until you learn to give. And that's why I always emphasize how important it is to lead by giving. And so I want to encourage everybody that if you don't have something set up already where you once a year, once a month, uh, do something to get out there and do something that helps other people. And if it just happens to help you, great. If it doesn't, that's even better. But I think that at the end of the day, it's really impossible to hit that true level of success that most people dream about if we don't put other people first. And it's easy to say you'll do that when you sell something, you'll give. That doesn't count. You know, like I told her, I didn't care what ended up happening with the actual uh, deal. It's just that I met somebody who had a dream of you know helping kids in orphanages and we're all for kids. And I told her, I don't care really what happens. I'm coming back and I'm going to donate this stuff to you. And she was blown away. She was expecting just a little box of school supplies. And we ended up with the whole car load filling up, filling up her, uh, her living room. And again, I don't say this to in no way, shape or form. Let's see, this is you. I, I'm just having an issue with it. I don't know what to say uh, at this point, but uh, the point of it is, is that at this point, like I said, it's really important that you go out there and you lead by giving and whether it be on a small scale, large scale, doesn't matter. There's great magic in just giving, especially to people you don't know. I will never meet these kids, but I know that eventually enough of this stuff will get to them. And that made my day, made my week. And so I encourage all of you to do the same. Uh, also along the first things first, I wanna just take a moment to remind everybody that our June 2020 Dash for the Cash uh, production contest, which is based off straight up app counts, is a full swing. We had a little bit of movement this week, so I just wanted to update you on that. Number one is still Daniela Dubak with uh, six applications in the system. Kathy Lokay has three. Carla Thompson has 2.8, and it's right behind them as well. And so that's why uh, I just wanted to commend them for this. And there's plenty of time for people to make some serious moves and be number one. And so, again, with some of the information that we keep passing on to you in regards to marketing with email, emails, I should say, uh, it's just simply there's no reason why you cannot go out there and make things happen at this point as well. Uh, lastly, I want to remind you that we do have a, a web page that we set up, teamcrusaders.com forward slash email marketing. And when you go there, that's where we're going to, we were going to be putting up all of our stuff there. The only thing that's changing is we're not going to be putting up our recorded webinars anymore. And the reason for that, very, very simple. The Zoom records it, which is recording actually right now. After it's done, it sends me an email saying, hey, uh, it's recorded. So then we have to download it. And then once we download it, we have to edit it, cut out all the dead space in the beginning and make it look pretty, and then render it with Camtasia, of course. And once we render it, then we have to upload it to YouTube, fill out all the stuff for YouTube, and then go back to this website and connect the click here part to it. It's a lot of work. And we're looking at the last average webinars. We've had one viewing. It's not worth my time, to be very honest with you, to do that. So this is going to be the last session we record. And there, there's going to be no more recording. So that means, A, break out your Camtasia and record the webinar, which you can as a screen, um, on your screen, if you would. And that's about your only hope, uh, the only thing you can do, because we're not going to do anything beyond that. We're not going to record it anymore. And so this is going to be the last one that we do. So take good notes, and that way you'll be up to speed 
with everything else that you might need. I was like, what the hell is that? I think somebody just went ahead and annotated on the screen or something. Uh, let me see if that's what, what it was. Yeah, somebody just annotated. So anyways, I share that with you in, in a very loving way. I don't like to waste my time. One person viewing one webinar is not worth my time. And, and I'll be the very first. So if it's worth your time to record it, go ahead and do so by all means. Take good notes. And that's what I want you to do. But it's not worth my time uh, to just simply go ahead and do that for one uh, poor viewing. I, I got other stuff going on. We got so many projects that we are working on. And, you know, one of the things that I'm so proud of is the fact that I can show you and I can document uh, who and, and by how much this is helping people from a financial perspective. So everything that I'm sharing with you, let me just close this real quick. There you go. Uh, and so everything that we share with you works. Now here's what's gonna happen in July. You know, a lot of people have been asking me for this and the first person I'm gonna send this information to is uh, Kathy Darugar. And what we're gonna be doing during the month of July, we're gonna be training on the power of podcast. Podcast has overtaken everything else. That's how people are receiving their information especially in an ocean of so much, and I do mean so much information out there. Radio is basically dead. TV, dead. Now, I don't watch news a whole lot, but I was watching the ABC Evening News with whatever, I don't know what the hell his name is. Uh, but anyways, he gave a story for about 30 seconds, and there was five commercials. Then he came back, another 30-second story, another five commercials. I mean, I couldn't believe it, and I can't believe people fought for that. And the reality is people are not falling for that anymore. That's why podcasts are growing like you wouldn't believe. And the best part about podcasts is you can have one generic channel. Uh, Joe Rogan does that. Or you can have as many channels as you're willing to work for it. And what I believe is the best thing to do in our world, develop a niche, if you would, for something, whether it be a channel for finances for teachers. Maybe you have another podcast for finances for police officers. Maybe another one for the general public. All different artwork, all different things. But I'm telling you right now, podcasts is where it's at. And so we're going to start that in the month of July. We're going to, for those that have the equipment, which is not a whole lot, you already have it, microphone in your computer or laptop. Uh, if you want to get an external one, you can definitely do that to sound that much better off. But we're going to walk you through every aspect uh, from how to order your artwork. All podcasts work the same. They have to have a square image, which is what you see here on the screen from, I don't know these people, but these are just variable or different uh, financial podcasts out of the millions of podcasts that are out there. But it is the quickest way for you to become literally an authority in whatever it is you want to go after. We are already on our third, we're going into our fourth podcast for police officers. <clears throat> we have a channel just for police officers, we're just waiting for the artwork to be finalized and, and then uh, Apple to approve it because you can use and you should use the RSS feed into your podcast. However, Apple is where it's at. Once you get on iTunes, you're everywhere. And so that's what we'll walk you through all this. And I'm actually going to show you an actual course that I paid for. You know, like I buy so many courses and then I just share it with you. Sometimes they don't allow multiple IP addresses to log in, but I'm going to give you my, I don't know if uh, Kathy is on the call there, Gar. Uh, she's been re working with me very closely. I know she's been trying to. I don't know if she is already doing the podcast, but I want to be. I want her to be the first one that I give you uh, give access to the course that I bought. It's an excellent course. It's only about an hour total, broken down into chapters, but it will walk you through the entire process. Uh, we're actually, as we speak right now, working on the final uh, version of the rich cop poor cop. Now, what's unique about this, you need to understand is that this is not intended to elevate you, the individual agent. This is intended to work for just me. And so I'm gonna show you how to do this on your own for yourself, not to use my stuff, but be creative. You know, nobody gave me anything. I have to sit here and spend endless and countless nights, you know, thinking about what it is that I would wanna work with. And we have one for this, we have one for the teachers, and we have one for, I believe it's the medical personnel. And this one's gonna be a, um, a monthly one. The others are going to be, I'm sorry, this one's a weekly one. The other ones are monthly. So even if you have just one, that's all you need to get started. But for God's sake, just do something, especially if this is something you see as it benefiting you in your authority, in your niche, as if you would. And it works extremely, extremely well. Because it overlaps a lot of the things that we already do. An example of that would be the way we work right now with you know, emails. Uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to try to show you right now, I should say, what the login looks like <clears throat> for the actual email campaign because whether you know it or not 
you know, the, there's an art and a science to emailing people. And I've sent, <coughs> excuse me, I've sent millions and millions of people, uh, emails to various people throughout my uh, career. And I just love it. It worked so well, but I've learned the hard way. What I, what I hope you learn the easier way on how emailing works. What, what is the best day to send out emails? What is the worst day to send that emails? Uh, and so on and so on, which we'll cover here in just one second. So anyways, I'm going to get into it because it's not that long of the training. So bear with me while I go ahead and load up the next one and we'll call it a day and that will be it. So let me just go ahead and pull this up real quick. Let me see. And now we can kind of um, better understand, I should say, uh, as to what it is I'm referring to. So let me just pull this up. Now this is the back office you're going to receive. Entrepreneur, prior business, financial planner. Da, 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 da. This is the one that you're going to receive if you decide if you decide to go with. This is lovely. Uh, it just threw me out. Hold on. Okay, let's set this up. So just bear with me, please. This logged out. Well, I was talking to you, so. All right, so here it goes. Come on. All right, so what I'm going to show you now on the screen is what you will receive if you work with Robert. Robert Welch, the gentleman I gave you his uh, info on last week. And let me just go ahead and show you what it looks like. Let me do a follow up for her. Let me see. Let me share this with you. Any questions about anything so far? Anything I mentioned about the podcast, this, that, anything at all? Anything. And that's another thing we're probably going to end up doing. We're going to go to what is called virtual webinars. And what that simply means, it looks like it's live Saturday morning, 9 a.m., but it's going to be recorded for one reason and one reason only. Um, there's no questions. And so you know, there's really no sense in us being live. I keep getting text messages from people that are having a hard time getting on the webinar. I cannot answer them, and I'm not going to answer them right now. I can't go back and forth. But we are. Go ahead. Uh, just so you know, uh, the text you sent, when you click on it, it won't get you in. It just says meeting in process. So you have to go to the your outside search engine and just type in ffswebinar.com separately. You can't put the W in or whatever, just to let you know. And, you know, one of the things that's really, really true, and I appreciate you mentioning that, is how when you really go to websites nowadays, you don't really need the www. Uh, technically, it's the HTTP colon, slash, slash, uh, and then ffswebinar.com type of thing. So I appreciate that. And it, it is, that's part of what, what I'm saying. It's not, it's not, it, for me, it's not being worth the hassle uh, just simply because of the fact that I, I can record a clean 30-minute webinar and just, you know, email it to everybody, which I think we're going to go to. I mean, the whole purpose of the webinars were, number one, to be able to see each other because of Zoom, and number two, to answer questions. And, you know, there's just no questions. And so I don't really see the sense of, uh, doing this because I start at 7.30 to get ready for the 9 o'clock with the PowerPoint and all the other stuff. Um, that's just the reality, to be honest with you. But uh, but thank you for that. And I know that there's no way for me to communicate to everybody right now. So hopefully they figure it out like you did so they can get on it and be able to do just that. But what I'm going to do is this is, for whatever reason, locking up on me real quick. Let me just go ahead and pull this up again, and I'll show you. Robert Welch. Okay, so here I'm just looking for because I have I have two laptops. Oh, here we go. Okay, we don't need phone number. This. this. All right. Well, let's see if this pops up. Okay, here it is. Okay, so here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy the password, and I'm going to show it to you. Now, what happens is now anybody know what, what's the best day, what's the worst day to send out emails? Anybody? Any guesses? Anybody? Anybody? Best day Tuesday? What was that? Best day Tuesday? Yes. I would agree day. with that. Best day, 100% of the time, Tuesday. Um, and maybe worst day Monday? No, that's the second best day. Actually, worst, uh, worst day Sunday, Friday. Technically, technically, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the yeah. weekend. Worst, worst, worst. <clears throat> don't ever send anything out. So I don't. I can't show you some of the statistics because what happened is we went back and changed the actual 
landing page again because we want to make sure that again it is compelling enough and so I'll go ahead and see if I can pull this up to show you what I'm talking about we are doing it off of a platform Here, let me see it's called builder all but it doesn't matter the reason we're with builder all I have my landing page but what I'm doing and the challenge for me is to do it in such a way that I can give you the master file so you will have to get this and just simply you know, run, run the campaign. So let me just go ahead and, uh, and see if this works right here. Let me see. Let me see if this works, if this gets me in. I think it will. And so what you'll see here, this is what it looks like, ugly, ugly landing page. We're doing two things. Let's see. Let's see. Jump, 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 jump. And so we're, we're doing two things. We're doing one email campaign with a landing page. And so what happens is they're going to see, uh, they're going to get an email and like somebody's smacking somebody. But anyways, uh, let me see. Uh, the retirement alliance. I think this is it right here. Let me just go ahead and do this, see if this works. And so anyways, what I'm getting at, here it is. Let me see if I can just view it. Go to the website. Here it is. And so it's a simple one. So there's two things going on. On one side, oh, forget the web, the video. But on one side, the one campaign is going to be an email, which is working out the best, believe it or not, for our, the people that are doing emails right now. I just mentioned to you a, a person that just submitted like 1,900 a month, three of them, but one of them was for 1,900 a month. They get an email. The email simply says, click here to schedule your free, no obligation, Zoom uh, appointment. They click on that and you get an email. It goes to Canonly. And we all know what Canonly is. And then that's it. It's a done deal. The other one, email, tells them a little bit, sends them here to a landing page, five minute video. And then of course they just scroll down and they click here to schedule the free Zoom call. So we're doing both at the same time. It's called split testing a and b and so the email is sending out a ton of emails and, and what it's going to do it's basically going to go ahead and just at some point uh find out which one's working better get rid of the other one and focus on one so the first one does not require a landing page it's just a straight email with a link and the reason i like that one as well is because it doesn't require everybody to have a landing page the second one which is the one with the landing page is a little more thorough, which is the one you're looking at right now. And then they click on it if they see something that intrigues them, which of course they will. They click on it to schedule a free Zoom call and that's it. So it is working, just so you know, money is being made. I mean, quantifiable money being made. Uh, thousands and thousands of dollars in premiums are coming in from the emails already, but we wanna fine tune it to the point that, again, for those that are serious enough to do what needs to be done can benefit from it as well. And so uh, once we figure out which of the two works out the best, we'll do that. And so anyway, so what happens is when you go to, and you have, oh, hold on, there's somebody with the question. Okay, that was an answer. Okay, cool. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just show you, and what I'm going to show you now is this is the Roberts platform. There's a lot of different platforms. I personally like Mailgun, which is a great way to send up tons and tons of email, but I also like to see how well I'm doing. And so what this shows you here, this is the dashboard for those that are working with Robert. So as you can see here, this is just one list that you see there. It's got 14,760 contacts and it's based off one template that's scheduled to go out, guess when? Tuesday. And so this is, and so next Saturday, you're gonna actually be able to see some statistics. Now this is different because this is one based on a different campaign for real estate agents that I'm not gonna get into, but this is the same one for the educators. Now the difference is with educators, you don't need as many email addresses for the simple fact that you do want to break it down. And this is what I encourage everybody to do. You wanna make sure that you break it down into specific districts because the educator list that we have that I don't know how many of you got it already, it breaks it down by their employer. So you don't talk to somebody that works for the California University system, same you do as for the LA Unified School District. 
or as, or the same district here. And not only that, but because the list, uh, but because of the fact that the list is so, I mean, cut down by the school district, I personally am doing the opposite this time. I'm not hitting LAUSD. I'm just not because of the fact that they are swamped by so many people and companies and so on. It's the smaller and more neglected departments or districts, I should say, that are going to be very happy to hear from you. Uh, you know, just some of the departments we got business from, and we, I mean, our team was for San Diego, Northern California, Inland Empire. And these were people that were actually glad to hear from somebody who have historically been neglected, let alone to go ahead and work with just their district. And so you can do that. I don't think I have it here in front of me, but let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Oh, and I do have it here. So let me just go ahead and switch this view so you can kind of see what I'm seeing and you better understand what I'm talking about. And so what you should see here before you is the actual list of whatever educators I told you we had. I forgot the number. Uh, it's a lot. <clears throat> you don't need everybody. You, it's impossible. You will die trying to communicate with 123,000 of them. I mean, like I said, 500, 300, 200, and especially when you go by city or by the uh, school district. And so what I'm showing you here you can see it by city, you can show it by gender, company, which is of course what we're referring to. That's where we got business from the very, very first one that I don't even know where the hell Lodi is. But uh, the point that I'm making is that you have to learn how to send it. Now, if you're running with us as a, as a pack and you have the list, you have everything, then we'll be able to help you uh, do just this. ABC Unified, you know where that's at, that's like Cerritos, Artesia, all that other stuff. Uh, Abraham, I, I don't know what that district is. Academy of whatever. And so anyway, so let me just make it bigger so you can kind of see I'm the highlighted. I'm reading off the highlighted column, which is what I'm going after, uh, over right, Adams, Delanto Elementary School. So anyway, so you can kind of get a sense of what I'm referring to. And so it's a lot easier. And because of the fact that there's so few, you won't need to be sending out mega, uh, mega number of emails, but it is, you have, it's all in the list, how good of a list, and this is as good of a list as it gets. You know, don't go after, somebody was asking me about administrators or superintendents list. There is a list out there, don't go after them. They're gonna ignore you, and if anything, they're gonna report you to one of the carriers because they're not gonna just simply off of an email make you an approved vendor or something like that because you're not the vendor, it's the carrier. And most of them are already approved anyways, and so it's very important for you to be very careful with that. And so what we're going to be sending out, oh, not sending out, but we're going to be going over this coming Thursday. Uh, a couple of people asked me what happened Thursday. They were waiting for the webinar. We didn't have a webinar this past Thursday because I was in San Diego, like I mentioned, uh, dropping off the donation for our charity event, and we just couldn't get back in time. We, under, we you know, underestimated how long it was going to take, all the stuff that we had to go through. But uh, so we couldn't make it back home in time for the uh, webinar, so that's why I didn't. But what we're going to do this Thursday, we're going to go over the actual swipes, the email swipes. The important, another person was asking me, why share the list? Why tell people the list? Because there's going to be more people on it. And that's true. Uh, you know, the biggest problem I found, it's not too many people doing any one thing. It's not enough people. So I'm not worried about that. Number two, if we all stick to the same subject line, if we all stick to the same body of the email, the nice thing about this is that it'll take multiple impressions before somebody actually does something. And if I send them an email and then you follow up with an email and they click on yours, well, bless your heart. I'm glad that you got them. Uh, but that's it. We're not calling dibs on anything in any districts, any areas. I had a couple of people suggest ways to do that. And I told them, absolutely not. That's not the way I operate. And, you know, there's just not going to happen. And so we just want to make sure we give people the actual opportunity to do just that. And so again, if you haven't done so, or if you did already with Robert and you have your list and you have everything that we're going to need to get this going on Thursday, we're going to be sharing these swipes, but only if you have either the landing page or only if you have been doing what you know needs to be done. We're not going to give that to just anybody to just have them randomly email from their uh, Gmail. It's, it's, it's not going to work for them. It's not going to work for anybody else. But we want to focus on getting more people. And you know, you've heard me say this before. The main reason we switched from GoToWebinar to Zoom is because I wanted to introduce the masses, you guys, to what I thought was going to be here to stay, which is true. Zoom is not going anywhere. Teachers are very, very well accustomed to Zoom because they use it for their classroom trainings and so on. And so this is the opportunity for you to grow your business via uh, email. 
And then, of course, combining it with other things like what we have coming up. Uh, one thing I will ask you to start looking into as part of your homework assignment, if you want to call it that, is going to be fiber. Fiber It's not like the fiber you eat to do what you got to do. It's this, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, Fiverr.com. Go to Fiverr.com. Don't order anything. But what I do ask you to do is become familiar with it because we're going to be doing a lot. Like, for instance, if you go, what Fiverr is, is freelancers, basically people all over the world. I've been using Fiverr for probably over 10 years. I mean, they are the ones that create all my intro videos. People were asking me about the last video I showed with the money in the vault. And this, well, I, I don't create that. I don't have time for that. Uh, I just simply go in Fiverr. And the reason it's called Fiverr is because before, every job on the website cost you $5. And kind of like the dollar stores, you, know, you go into the 99 cent store to buy $4 milk. It's not true anymore. The same thing with Fiverr. It's not $5. There are some stuff, but this is where I create. This is, this is, these are just some of the orders I have placed this week. Uh, includes the podcast. I have another company, another guy, podcast. Uh, most of my business comes from Bangladesh, yeah, which is most of the people that I know already really well. And I just simply buy through them, Bangladesh. And, you know, they're up all night because they know that this is where the money's at. But they do a great job. Maybe you want to have your own intro, especially as we get into the podcasting. You're going to need a cover. You're going to need a cover. So you have to start working on the idea for the cover. Uh, for that, you're going to eventually need a video intro. So start looking at that. So go in here. And now, because it's so popular, I'm going under industries. There's a new one, and it's called podcasting. And there's anything from podcast editing, promotion, show notes, cover art, intros and jingles, podcast content, advertising with, within podcasts, and so on. Start looking at that so that you can better prepare yourself for what is coming. Now, the reality is, um, where do you get the school list? Okay, Holly, uh, the school list, that's... That's in the notes from last week, not fiber. And it's not spelled fiber like that. It's five, F-I-V uh, as in Victor, like the number five, and then two R's at the end. That one's through uh, Welch, Robert Welch. I gave you guys the info last week. Uh, that's where you get that list. Uh, also, what's really important to keep in mind, like I told you last time, start taking very good notes because we're not recording the webinars anymore. It's too big of a hassle. To get one person that's actually viewing it a week, it's just not worth it. And so take good notes. Or if you do have Camtasia or any recording software, you can record the screen during the webinar and do that to kind of take notes. But, you know, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but I just don't have time during the week. You know, I get five, six people asking the same thing during the week that was covered on the weekend. And my question is, why didn't you take notes? Why didn't you record it? If I, if I were you... And I couldn't be on a webinar because I think I understand things happen. I would designate somebody, a webinar buddy, that I would say, hey, are you going to be on the webinar? Take good notes, record it or whatever, because I'm not going to be there and then give it to me. And then when you can't make it, I'll do the same thing with you. You can do that. I thought we were going to fix it with just a recorded webinar on demand 24-7 uh, on our web back page, on our web page. But no, it's not worth it. No, not, not for one of you. Uh, so we're not going to do that. So take good notes because we're going into the podcasting, which is one of the most exciting things when you combine it with the emailing, with the videos and everything else that we've done. Uh, any questions from anybody before we wrap it up? Any questions at all? Okay, we have one text uh, question. Okay, the links on Tuesday are coming kind of are not live. And, and that's correct. It says the uh, links on the Team Crusaders, because we've only had one on email marketing, which is last week. That one will be live in about 30 minutes. It's already up with YouTube. It's just that it's taking their servers a long time to be able to do that. So if you look for last sun, uh, Saturday's webinar, it'll be there in about one hour. Uh, 20 minutes at the very most, and you can just view it there as well. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, anybody else? Questions, comments, concerns, just unmute yourself. That's the quickest way to do that. Again, part of the reason that we're going to probably go to this more recorded webinars uh, is because there's just no questions. And, you know, if there's no questions. It's just easier to just record it during the week and boom, it goes live. Uh, one other thing that I will share with you that can help you continue to establish your expertise in this field. And again, there's a lot of moving parts to it. You know, people say, man, there's, there's a lot to process. Well, duh. I mean, like anything else that's worthwhile, guess what you're going to have to do is either learn how to delegate it or like myself, there's a lot of stuff that either I don't know or I don't have the time for. I just go to Fiverr and they will do anything there for the right price. So do that. But at some point, you, you are going to have to have a working uh, knowledge 
of how things operate so that you can be successful and establish long-term. Because to me, one of the keys to success is to have that long-lasting success, not just the success that comes and goes. Longevity is a big deal for me because of the way our business and our compensation plan works and renewals and overrides and so on. You want to be here long-term so you can benefit you know, the most from everything I just described to you and not just simply be here and boom, you're with another company somewhere else next week and then another one and another one. You'll never find what you're looking for until you stop, look within yourself and understand that you have to take ownership of your business to get yourself from where you are to where you want to be. Last call for questions, comments, concerns, anybody. Anybody at all? Okay, well, if no one has any questions, look, I'm just telling you, podcasting is where it's at. Um, I will send this out or for some of you that are already working on it. If you're not working on it, you don't need it because they're going to shut me down for my list. But I'll show you one last thing. I don't know if Kathy Darugar is on today. I, I, I'm on, Javier. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I, had, I was oh. on mute. I, I have one question for you. Sure. So for the podcast, I, I have the small microphone. Do you suggest getting the bigger microphones that they use? I mean, or does it matter? Here's, first of all, it doesn't matter because your first five, ten podcasts will not be as good as your 20th. And so my recommendation is if you just learn to go through the motions, the reason most people don't last in podcasting is the reason they don't last in emailing or they don't last in video is because they don't stick to it long enough. So if you have the funds, I would say it, it could definitely make a difference quality-wise, but ultimately I would say, look, just do five good podcasts from beginning to end and then go ahead and upgrade. But what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you this right now. Uh, if you notice, this is, there's a website called GetStartedPodcasting.com, and it's really cheap. I think I only paid 60 bucks or 30 bucks or something. It was a coupon. There's a coupon for 50% off. I bought it. I just bought it because I thought that it was definitely worthwhile. And here's what I'm going to make available to some people, especially you, you'll have it today, Kathy, because I know you've been talking about it and working on this for a long time, so you're serious about this. And yeah. <laughs> so here, here, here's the website you're going to go to, which I just gave you, and I'll give you my username and password, and it'll show you the courses. And so I'm going to click on this right here in on number three, chapter number three. So now we're actually going to do in this video. And so it, it, it literally, this stuff walks you through everything. What I'm going to do, it walks you through, let me see if this is going to be the one. One second. Oh, Audacity, the software, which is the one that I use. Audacity. We can't see your screen. Oh, uh, oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, God. We can't so see. Perfect. Thank you. Um, I was just a test to see if you were paying attention. So let's see. <laughs> so what you'll see here, this is, let me just back up. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. If you are doing it, now how do I know this? Because if you send me a recording, literally on your phone, on your laptop, I mean, just send me something. I'm not talking about an hour podcast because I'm not going to listen to it. I'm talking about a three-minute podcast of how is it going to start. Mine is, you know, like just picture in your mind. You don't have to have intro music. You don't have to have anything. We're talking about working with our imaginations first. Can you even get there? And I pictured my intro, it, for, the, for instance, the police one. It's going to start with the police sign, voodoo, whatever, real quick, a little bit of music in the background. Then I come on. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Javier coming at you with another episode of the Poor or a Rich Cop, Poor Cop podcast, where we teach you how to truly bulletproof your financial future. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of not just having life insurance, but most importantly, having the right type of life insurance, which is one that you don't have to die to use. And so, anyways, I welcome everybody, our regular listeners, new listeners, and I thank you for spreading the word because this can truly make a difference in the lives of those that are out there risking their lives every single day. And that's it. If you just did that, I mean, just that, then you're in. If you can't do that, you're out. I mean, it's very, very simple. Uh, you know, I, I, of all the things I could help you with, I cannot instill will in you to just give it a shot. But anyway, so how, let's, how let's, this now. Oh, there you go. I'm out. There you go. And so, as you can see on the left-hand side, you'll see. Now, you can just go in there and buy it if you don't want to wait for this. I mean, you don't have to send anything in. Then you should. But here, since it's getting started, I'm at the 50% mark with this particular course. But what I'm getting at is that it, these are the chapters. There's only six chapters. Each chapter is – this one's the longer one because it's about editing and stuff like that. But, but let me just show you what I'm referring to. I think it's number two, show format. It will literally walk you through everything. This, of all the courses I've purchased, That's how often you this is the most practical base. one. That so for our cover art, we're just gonna it right talks about now. your cover art. Now, he talks about how doing everything yourself. You can do that, especially if you have access to Canva. 
I'm, I don't like to do that. I don't waste my time with stuff I can delegate personally. So I just went to Fiverr, paid 15 bucks, got my cover art, and done. So he talks about the different microphones, uh, different things. And so it, it, it will literally walk you through here. Like, for instance, this is the one that I'm at right now, which is the one on the type of different type of equipment. One, two, or more. Uh, uh, I think some of you are going to do really good with the interview style of podcast where you have somebody there over the phone. You don't have to be in person, by the way. And with the right equipment, you can do just that. Uh, he's holding up one of them right there. And, and then what's nice about this, you just scroll below it, and he shows you the ones that he's referring to. So you can see what, based on your budget, again, if you have a, a, a small budget, the microphone on your laptop or external microphone is all you need. All you need to get started. And then you can get more technical after that. But the beauty behind this, as you can see, you can get a, the, the, uh, a boom microphone holder there for 13 bucks. Good Panasonic headphones you can monitor because that's really important for whatever, 15 bucks. And so, I mean, as complicated as you want to get, but uh, to answer your question, Kathy, you'll be good to go with that. And so okay. send me, if you want to get into the podcast world, send me what you got. You know, show me, you know, what you got going on and just email me a small file. And like I said, it's going to be a simple, uh, if you, I'll give you an example, go to, the one that I'm going to be training on, which is free, is called Audacity. So if you want to get ahead of the game, you just simply go to Audacity. And part of the reason that I like Audacity, uh, did that make sense yourself for? No, hold on. Uh, it, it, hold on. Okay, let me just go ahead and show you the right website. It's Audacity. Let's see. Don't put, here it is. It's Audacity Team. Audacity Team dot org it's open source meaning it can't be sold it works on macs and pcs so this is the one we're going to work on now, i can make it work on camtasia but because this is designed for just that i'm going to stick to this one and this is what i'm going to train on as it relates to podcasting and so it's as easy as you downloading it if you knew nothing about nothing you hit the big red button at the top and you'll see your voice going up and down and then just speak save it Export it. You're done. Very simple. Very simple. And that's what you want us to send to you? Yeah. No, you can send it to me on anything, by the way, on your phone, or you record it on your laptop. On any, you don't have to use Audacity. Audacity is a editing software. It's kind of like the videos. So you can just record a video on your phone. You don't have to do that because I'm not asking you for an intro or music or nothing. Just simply go at it. Freestyle. Go for, can you do 20 seconds, 30 seconds or whatever? Just send me that. And I will give you some of the support that I think can accelerate your success by doing that as well. So, uh, Javier, that's Val. Go ahead, sir. Hey, uh, so do we get, like, copy off of the FFS promotional site, or uh, where can we get that? Get what? Uh, copy to, to, to use as an intro, promotional. Like, you have your – that you just did that little intro right there. Yeah. You, you created that, I'm sure, but you got the base information – yeah, I mean, the, the answer, I mean, I'll tell you, I'll give you an example of one of the things that I'm doing that the rich cop, poor cop is a little harder to copy. You can still do it, but it's, it's, it's going to be very difficult to copy because of the content. But the generic one that I'm doing, the other podcast that I have going on, it's called The Real Secrets of Money. So just base it off that, you know, hi, this is Val, where we share the real secrets of money that can help you get from where you are, financially speaking, to where you and your family deserve to be. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of having not just life insurance, but the right type of life insurance. It's something like that. So, okay. You know, a lot of, no, we have, and I know you're new, Val, so you're not going to have it, but we have what I went, went to, and I'll show it to you right now. We have what are called, let me pull it up, FFS. Let me see what time it is. I gotta get on the okay, I got time. I'll, I'll show you this and I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, hold on. Point to learn. FFS. And I'm going to put, I know you can't see it yet, but I'm going to pull it up right now. I'm going to see, I'm trying to find the webinar on the fly here, where if you really want to get subjects for financial services, now here's what I will tell you, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not promote FFS. You want to promote yourself. Don't promote a brand other than yourself. Don't do it for the company. Don't do it. So make sure that you will see a, none of my artwork when you see First Financial or FFS or any of that stuff, because I'm not out to promote the company. If anything, it'll hurt you because people will jump to conclusions many a times, especially with who they spoke to from that company before. And they, Just don't do it is what I'm saying. Just promote yourself, your name, or your tagline, or whatever you want to call it. But I'm, maybe somebody can help me out. I'm looking for the 
uh, PDF that I gave you guys uh, a couple of months ago on the, you know, the high points of FFS uh, talking points. What are they called? Um, anybody, you know, talking points that I shared with everybody. What were they? It was like eight, it's on a single sheet. Anybody know, please? Um, it's the second thing that goes, Javier. I'm I can't remember you, what the first one was. You know what? I'm, I'm telling you exactly. I'm, I completely agree. Damn, I'm getting ill. Uh, well, I'm surrounded by old people because nobody can remember either. Uh, but what, <laughs> what was it called? What was it called? Uh, the t- so talking t- points about FFS in regards to what? Because I yes, didn't really just, tell just, notes. Uh, oh, now I know. Power phrases. Come on, guys. Oh, uh, yeah. You have special. those for the police and, and well, we made yeah. some for the teachers. Yes, so. yes, everything. And so for everything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you right now. And so I know you can't see them yet, but I'm going to go ahead and fire it up. So you get an example. All the info you need, guys, you have it. I mean, you just might not remember. You didn't pay attention, but you have it. And here, let me just show it to you right now. So these are the power phrases. And so, again, not intended for podcasts, but, hell, this is exactly what you need for podcasts. Some of the things that could be your episodes, uh, what, what do you do? Well, we teach people how to bulletproof the financial future by leveraging product and concept that most people don't even know exist. We protect financial futures and help people retire with dignity and on their terms. Uh, so if I'm doing an episode today, we're going to be talking about how to retire with dignity and on your terms, which is something that fewer and fewer people are able to do every single year. That spooks them, that intrigues them, that scares them, but that's what you want. I mean, that's it right there. The next one, we help people optimize their savings and retirement plans. Let me give you an example. Most people, if they get blah, blah, blah. We help people maximize the return on their money while eliminating any possible losses, especially when you have seen the upswings and downswings of the stock market in just the last couple of weeks of uh, other taglines our products provide dollars of benefits for pennies of cost that's pretty cool we specialize in products that provide multiple benefits with just one single monthly contribution our products provide people with what they really want which is peace of mind very very true our flagship product can protect your family today and provide you with lifetime income tomorrow let me give you an example and so anyways i'm not going to get too much into this but uh i prefer I, here's a few more to two pages uh, sheet most people have their retirement money underperforming and overexposed, meaning like the lady that I told you I went to see in San Diego, her husband died, left her over a million bucks. She lost like, you know, $30,000 in a day. And I'm like, look, listen, you're no longer in that phase of life where you're trying to grow your money. You better, you better switch to preserving your money. And she's like, that's exactly what I want. Well, you're not going to do that in the brokerage account because you're at the mercy of the market itself. And so your husband was there. He managed it beautifully. You told me you don't know what you're doing. You don't want to mess with it. And you're losing money left and right with what uh, Alan is proposing. You can only go up. You'll never go down. And even if it never goes up again, at least you'll know you will never run out of money for the rest of your life. And that was it. Uh, it's, the reason podcasts are so powerful is because one episode will speak to some people, but others really will find it interesting, but it really won't move them. But then the next week, when you're talking about the importance of leaving a legacy, all the old folks are going to be listening a lot more closely than the young ones. Because if I'm doing that episode, I mean, think about it. You come here, you work hard, you die eventually someday, and you leave your family hanging just because you failed to plan. Whereas the flip side to it is that knowing that when life does come to an end, like it will for everyone, at least you have a legacy that will outlive you. And you can literally take care of your family from the grave and continue to do the things that you did while you were alive. I mean, I just had a client, a police officer, where he did his uh, IUL, and then we went ahead and did his one for his kid. And then by the time he, well, before we did that, he's like, we're going to cancel mine, start one for my kid. I go, look, you're no good to him if you're gone. And his IUL won't help him if you're gone. So my recommendation is start with yourself. But my God, $100 a day, man, $100 a month, realistically, how much do you get for one shift of overtime? And how many do you work a month? And he was like, you know what? I don't know what I was thinking. Put me down for both of us. We're starting the right way. Perfect. I mean, and it is the right thing. And so anyways, I leave you with this because there's a lot of great stuff out there, guys. I just want to see you leverage it and get from where you are to where you deserve to be as well. Last call. Um, I have one more question, Javier. Sure. Um, I've been trying to find someone to hire to um, – manage my social media and um, my website 
So I don't, it's, it's, there's so many people out there. Do you have any like recommendations? I mean, some, some of them are outrageously overpriced, but. I mean, yeah, you, you gotta be careful because, you know, right now we are in the times where back in the days of the gold rush in California, the people they got the riches were the people selling the picks and the shovels uh, more than the ones digging for the gold. And so you want to make sure you don't fall into, and I think you kind of see that already, but there yeah. are a lot of people doing just that. Uh, as a matter of fact, July 1st, I launched my first, Scientific, which is, it's hard to say, scientific, but that's the platform that that class I purchased is on because I'm putting all my, not for you guys, but for everybody else, I'm putting all my classes now on uh, $49.99 a class uh, fee because you know what, there's a lot of need for that. There's a lot of, and, and I'm with you. I do have some, uh, not somebody, but a service that I'll reach out to you about in okay. the interest of time. Uh, but yeah, you got to be really, really careful. Otherwise, you're going to just make them richer. And you want to make sure that you get your money's worth, which is a pretty big challenge nowadays. And, that, and that's why we'll cover more of that uh, as we move forward. But I'll give you a call because I got to give you the info for the login for this okay. one. Everybody else, if you want it. Um, and again, just record something, at least your intro or do something. Send it in to me and we'll take it from there. Last call. No one else. If no one has anything else, I just say thank you for all you do. I appreciate your time. And I look forward to speaking to you all real soon. And please get those intros to me so we can get you going especially when july 1st kicks and we're going to be all out because we're more than halfway through june we only have two more saturdays and we will be in uh july meaning podcast season and you're going to be able to elevate your success as well thank you so much everybody have a wonderful day stay thank safe you. Stay healthy. thank you